Hello, everybody. Welcome to our um, lecture today. Uh, I'm Monica Wahi, and I am think of myself as a SAS expert. I wrote a book about SAS, and I've been using SAS off and on for about 20 years. Today, we're going to talk about why SAS Enterprise Guide might be your key to data integration. So I'm going to assume everybody showing up here is a SAS user and has at least a basic background in SAS. And so you know that there are different components to SAS. And SAS Enterprise Guide is one of those components. And it's a component that you don't, you may have never heard of. It matters whether your SAS shop uses it. And it's one that's been around since the 1990s. So it's a very interesting component. If you haven't used it, you could be using it. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. But before we get into it, I wanted to let you know I'm holding a free online workshop. It's called Application Basics for SaaS Integration. It's based on an actual online course called Application Basics. It's really intended for people who have degrees in data analysis and do data analysis who did not get those degrees from a business school to fill in the information they need to know about applications. Now, what's special about this workshop is we're going to be using the online course, but I'm going to be teaching it about SaaS, talking about SaaS integration with applications, not just applications. So it's got a SaaS spin on it. So please notice that the workshop is in three sessions. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, August 7th, August 9th, August 11th. Um, it's about two to three hours each, depending on um, how many people show up. And then you have a private wrap-up session with me. Uh, it's all free. So uh, please go to the event on LinkedIn. There's a link there to a registration form that you can sign up if you want to be in the free workshop. And I hope to see you there. All right. So now back to the regularly scheduled program, which is SAS Enterprise Guide. So it was invented in the 90s, and some SaaS shops adopted it, and some did not, okay? And so you're probably wondering, well, why did anybody adopt it? Well, as you'll see as I explain it, it was really a great way to start automating your SaaS back in the 90s. So normally how people would run SaaS when they're doing it repeatedly, like I did when I worked at this data lake at the U.S. Army, we just kind of ran it each time we loaded data. We were very manual about it. That can work if you're not loading data very often, but if you're doing it all the time, you really want to automate it. And so I think it's probably the shops that were automating these things that were the first ones to um, adopt SAS Enterprise Guide, and they love it. OK, so those who adopted it back in the 90s, especially really loved it. OK, but I literally didn't hear of it until like 10 years ago, literally, because one of the learners I was working with who is was at a college, they actually had access to this enterprise guy. Um, and it was it's a really cool tool, but there's some caveats. So today we're going to, and that's exactly why this lecture, is we're going to talk about the use case for SaaS Enterprise Guide and data integration in SaaS, because it can be used for different things, but that's what I'm sort of into. So um, what is actually SaaS Enterprise Guide? So if you want like a really good white paper on it, um, go to this white paper. And the reason why the little cat emoji is, uh, Sunil Gupta is an awesome colleague. He was one of the editors of my SAS book. That's how I actually met him. And I, I read his white paper. He's just the coolest guy. He's got a lot of training materials out there. He does a lot in R also. So um, he's just a cool guy to know. Um, so what is SAS Enterprise Guide? It's actually an interface and it it versions separately from SAS base and stat. So you know how like we have SAS via now? That versions separately from SAS. So this is this is a whole different application kind of in SAS that you could install. Okay. And when you see it, like I'll show you, actually, I made a diagram because I didn't want to steal anybody's screenshot, but you'll see it looks sort of Windows XPE. Okay. 
And it helps you manage your code and set up data pipelines and run tasks in a more automated way. And what would happen is programmers either adopted Enterprise Guide and then now they use it all the time. Or if you have not used it, you'll you'll find it awkward when you first try to use it, okay? Trust me, I was totally awkward with this learner. And what you realize is Enterprise Guide is something, if you have a shop where you're doing a lot of regular things, not clinical research, because you usually do things like what's, like you fit this model. But when you're like running a data warehouse or you're regularly cleaning some data or, or merging mailing lists or doing fraud detection or something like that, like running regular jobs on something, then you want to think about Enterprise Guide because you've already got a shop then that's really pretty well organized, right? So this is um, SAS Enterprise Guide. Uh, for just using SAS, okay? So if you're not trying to integrate anything, look at how complicated this task list is. This is from Sunil's paper, right? So if you can see this, see, I told you it looks sort of window XPE. What you have to imagine is there's sort of this panel and you can drag these out. You can drag out a factor analysis. You can drag out this prod freak over here, this one-way frequency, and you can set them up as tasks. So for example, one of the things we would do at the army is like if we created a variable, like let's say we created an age group from age, we'd run um, a two-way frequency that with list missing because we wanted to see if we recoded everything right. And so that could be like a job that I could set up that automatically runs after that. And so it, it lets you set up this jobs to run in order. So what I was thinking is when I was at, I didn't even know about Enterprise Guide until after I left my Army job. But if I had known about it at the Army, maybe I could have I could have explored installing it. And then what we would have done is taken, like we just had code that was sort of in order, like we named it 105 and then some, what it did, and then 110 and then what it did. And so we knew to run it in order. Well, that's what we first did. And then I was like, we need to make these into macros. So we made them into macros and we started just managing the macros, but then we would launch the macros from this code because some macros you'd launch some, for some years and not other years, you know, because we were building a data warehouse. Now, because we were so organized, I could have installed Enterprise Guide and actually automated all that code because we had already read that. So this is my long way of saying you have to be that organized and you have to be at that point before you can really use Enterprise Guide. So this is um, one of the functions that Enterprise Guide does is it can help you write reports in Proc Tab. I thought this was really cool. This is from Sunil's paper. So what you you can do is you're connected. Maybe I should go back one. You're connected to data stores. Oh, it doesn't show it here. You can connect to data stores. And then you can do some sort of dragging around to create this. Remember how hard it is to use to program straight proc tab? So you can see below this that SAS Enterprise Guide is writing the proc tag for you. It's the ugliest code. Like out equals SAS user dot table 8157. 8157. That's <laughs> or tab 8157. That's how much work Sunil does. But anyway, so it's going to write ugly code, but it really gets you there. Like it would take me forever to figure out how to do that in Proc Tab. I just admit it. So the white paper by Sunil really focuses on using um, Enterprise Guide for report pipelines because remember, um, SAS has been implemented like a lot of SAS programming has gone into automated reports, like, like their headers and footers and stuff. The way Enterprise Guide works is if you are in for a any in for a pound. So let's pretend I go back to my data lake. We had all this neat code. Everything was in tasks that I could have just implemented. Let's say I had installed Enterprise Guide. We'd implemented that in all of those tasks. We'd built all of this. And now we could do with this proc tab on the fly. We could do all that. We're kind of stuck with SAS then. You know, we really can't migrate away from SAS after we do that. Like that is a lot of work. And um, so then the question is, like, if you if you already have a SAS shop with Enterprise Guide in it, that's the kind of SAS shop to use to see if you can do data integration. Okay. Um, 
of course your data integration is going to work like like Sunil's showing here is more reporting what I did was more data integration but it will work better with a bunch of SAS data sets not ones from like SQL or, or um you can read in CSVs it can be that you're reading in raw data we were doing a lot of that but again it's like if you already have enterprise guide at your workplace and it's being used keep using it but if you implement it now you're sort of marrying SAS right I wanted to show you the interface, an example of an interface for Enterprise Guide. Um, I made this diagram. This is from my book. Um, you have to use your imagination. This is real code. I just took a screenshot here. This is real output. I put a screenshot here. But see these tasks? And then also up here, you'll see um, like this process flow. This is where like you really have to be a designer. And here, here see these objects? This is my representation to you of how you would be dragging these objects out and configuring them. Again, you have to have all this design. And often I even just have a diagram like in PowerPoint that I already have before I go build something like this. So when I went to help that learner like 2016, I just spent a half hour being baffled by this, <laughs> this interface. So that's another problem. Like you're going to have to learn how to use the interface. And, and see all these windows here? These windows, you can put them there, you can remove them. It's it, You could really customize your interface. So you really have to know what you're doing. And so the fact that Sunil wrote that white paper, I can tell he does a lot of reporting and he got it really going well for reporting. Um, so it has a lot of functionality for organizing multiple tasks. And you can also, you'll notice um, my first lecture of the series was on SAS access, which is an way a component that allows you to make an ODBC connection basically from inside SAS, even like um, PC SAS, and go out and connect to a SQL database if you have permission or another kind of database, but SQL is the one I would use, and then get the data to come in. You can do that in SAS Enterprise Guide. That's You just make it one of your tasks. And so that's how you would do the, the data integration, for example. But I see people... Where I've seen Enterprise Guide more is when you have a big SaaS shop where there's a lot of different SaaS projects going on. And then maybe you want to pool data from different ones or whatever. Um, but anyway, it kind of makes sense if you have a big SaaS shop to um, do this. Let's go to um, the white paper for a second here. Now, here, um, in Enterprise Guide, you can access various raw data, query and filter reports, select variables, control grouping and sorting, and run tasks. So already you're probably like, I can do that myself in command prompt. So you can imagine that why this is useful is if you want to, if you get good at it, you don't have to use the command prompt. If you get good at using this sort of WYSIWYG, approach then forget proc tab you can just start doing this i think sunil is a really good programmer but i think what he did was get good at this and then he just got faster right so what this kind of enterprise guide kind of reminds me of is if you ever log into a microsoft sql server instance you can see all these tools in the sql server for like profiling the data or just doing like easy select queries and stuff that's basically SAS Enterprise Guide. Like that's SAS's version of that easy, that easy Microsoft SQL interface, if you're familiar with it. Of course, even the easy Microsoft SQL interface is a challenge. Every time I see it, I'm like, okay, how do you use this thing? So you have to learn Enterprise Guide before you can be adept with it the way um, Sunil is. So here was that screenshot I gave you. Um, he's showing here, um, it, you know, it's a little hard in a white paper to show how you're dragging things out. Um, but he's like, this is done by selecting summary table task and clicking on the task options. Below is the result of the table produced. As you can see, retail sales has the strongest market segment with 80% of the market. And so what you can kind of imagine is that an enterprise guide let's say you get this and it looks nice now you've got a report you can run it again 
so it's basically like you're kind of building your own like SaaS interface environment thing in Enterprise Guy. And um, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, obviously, if you're like Sunil and you got this thing going, you can get really good with it. So, but the problem is like, if you have a big SaaS shop and you already have everything set up, why go get Enterprise Guy? What's kind of cool now is that SaaS is making a lot of like like um, unusual components available, like like rarely used components available. And I think you can practice with Enterprise Guide. So it's the kind of thing where if you're going to a SaaS shop that has Enterprise Guide, you're going to want to learn how to use it right, right away. So, um, you know, I didn't even look. I wonder if in SAS, do, do any of you know if SAS ODA lets you practice Enterprise Guide? Let me see here. Practice Enterprise Guide SAS online. Let's see here uh, in course, your e learning course. Let's see if they have something in Enterprise Guide. Uh, Here's a course list. And, you know, to be honest, I don't know if these SAS courses are great, but if they're free, I'll take it. Okay, so we have administering SAS office analytics and SAS enterprise guide, but that's probably not what you would want. Um, enterprise minor is getting really popular now because it's basically like enterprise guide, only you're doing mining. Um, data mining, which I, I'm not sure how that's slightly different, I guess. And then here, creating here, the, I think this would be the one. Yeah, creating reports and graphs with SAS Enterprise Guide. If you really wanted to um, know uh, what to do, uh, like Sunil was doing in there, then I would take that class. Let me see if they have anything on integration. See, SAS is never um, very interested in um, integration. Like I, you kind of have to learn that on your own. Yeah, there's a lot. Here's a bunch of SAS enterprise guide down here. Um, this I would think is what you would want. So if you saw a job, if you're already a SAS user and you saw a job available and they are using enterprise guide i would take these courses right here um so you could say well i know sas and i took these courses in enterprise guide so i can know how to um adopt it um because as you could see like i can only in a half hour i can only sort of explain what it does and all the different things it does it's kind of up to you and what your shop is is what you're using like sunil is using all this reporting if i was um usually i'm doing like a whole bunch of data like integration like uploading and putting it together etl stuff so but it but you know we all know what sas actually does we know what the procs are and stuff and this is mainly just a way of automating them and putting them in order and and being able to um edit them but then that always takes a lot of um, organization let me see if i can get this big here so I would say the take home message about SAS um, Enterprise Guide for SAS data integration, if your SAS shop has not adopted Enterprise Guide, don't just install it for the purpose of data integration. Now, if your SAS shop has not adopted Enterprise Guide and you want to do automation, I'm not sure if the right answer is to start with Enterprise Guide. You might want to just jump to VIA. And of course, it depends on your shop. Um, but if you already have SAS Enterprise Guide at your shop, then go ahead and, and you want to do data integration, go ahead and just start trying to do it. Like, again, you have to create code that runs and sort of a pipeline. I would suggest you make a diagram. Once you've got all that, then you fire up Enterprise Guide and you try to drag everything into it and build it the way you envision it. I guarantee you that, well, I don't know if I can guarantee, but I, I probably can guarantee you that before um, 
Sunil started setting up a lot of those reports in his enterprise guide. He did them by hand. He did some reports by hand because you have to know what you're looking for. And then after that, you can start dragging and dropping. You know what you want. Um, and then, so like if you, like I put an example here, let's say you're importing a small reporting data set each month from a local SQL server to help run reports out of your SAS server. So for example, let's say you just need a little data from the SQL server, like some summary statistics, and you got to pull that in when you run your reporting and you're automating your reporting. That's where you could easily do um, Enterprise Guide uh, data integration. And again, if anybody here has used Enterprise Guide or is used to using it, you know, feel free to talk about it. All right. And I encourage you to read that um, white paper because, see, the tip, the problem with SAS is it's it's not like R or Python where you can just demonstrate it. You know, even if I try to demonstrate something in SAS ODA, you saw how long it takes to connect. It, it's just like really not very easy software. But it's really important to know all the different components because once you're on the other side and you're in a SAS shop, you need to be able to leverage what you've got to get your work done. So um, so anyway, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask them or anybody wants to say anything. Um, I just wanted to thank you for showing up today for this quick, quick little sort of overview and remind everybody that you can connect with me on my blog or on LinkedIn or with by email. Um, but and also uh, please uh, consider coming to my free online workshop if you have time. And we can talk more about ways to do SAS integration. If you come to this workshop, you can talk actually, because I, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people there. Like we'll have times where we can actually discuss so we can discuss real situations and see if maybe Enterprise Guide will be right for you. So thank you very much for showing up. And if there are no questions, I will end the session. And I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for watching this video, which is part of the Public Health to Data Science rebrand program. If you are interested in joining the program, please sign up for a 30-minute Zoom interview using the link in the description.